different. Your Honor, yes, we were at this wedding. Everyone was very drunk. I went with my best friend to the hot tub at the hotel. And, like, it got a little bit crazy. We started making out. His best man, his best friend, came in. And I probably should have, like, not let that happen. But it was just, like, a, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just a silly, like, drunken, like, being silly in a hot You've tub. He showed up me. and went completely crazy. I apologize. I... I I don't think it was something to call a wedding off of. Javon, I understand you are suing to get an engagement ring back that you gave this young lady over here. Correct. Okay, explain. It's not so much about the money, you know, it's more about the sentimental value that the ring holds to me. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandfather actually gave that to my grandma, so it's oh. very near and dear to my heart. You know what okay. I mean? I had the, the ring actually appraised at 12.5, so. Wow, must be beautiful. So explain to me what happened. About a month before our actual wedding, um, one of our friends had a wedding that we went to. We have, you know, very tight-knit friends. At the party, you know, the drinks were flowing. We were having a great time, and I noticed she was missing. So I went around looking for her, and I actually walked in on Cynthia with another man and another woman. But it wasn't just any man and woman. It was actually my best man and her maid of honor. So I imagine you were shocked. <laughs> Completely. Okay, and what happened after that? So, you know, I kind of thought in my head maybe we could work it out. It's really? just one of those things, yeah. You know, okay. I, I do love so her. So you youth wanted no, to work it out. No, he started screaming, screaming, and <gasps> went crazy. Screaming Yes, like he went crazy. crazy. It was, Your Honor, he's making it seem like it's a way bigger thing than it was. Oh, my goodness. What did he do? Tell me. Well, it was completely different. Your Honor, yes, we were at this wedding. Everyone was very drunk. I went with my best friend to the hot tub at the hotel. And, like, it got a little bit crazy. We started making out. His best man, his best friend, came in. And I probably should have, like not let that happen, but it was just like a, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just a silly, like, drunken, like, being silly in a hot You've tub. He showed up me. and went completely crazy. I apologize. I, I, I don't think it was something to call a wedding off over. You're, I understand that he was upset. Response. Excuse me. What, I understand I you were upset, but I don't see why he had to call off the whole wedding. I didn't want to call off the wedding. How did you react or how did you feel when you saw your fiancé and he walked in on you with your friend and his best friend. Your Honor, I was surprised that he was so angry because everyone was so drunk and just, I, I didn't think that it was that big of a deal. So you don't think it was a big deal that you cheated on him? I don't, I mean, it, it was just making out. I didn't even really think it was cheating. At a wedding when everyone's drunk? I mean. I don't, I don't even have a good comeback for that one. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, your Honor, I, I really knows. don't. I'm usually really quick and I can, I, I just don't, I, I don't. I'm speechless for once. I mean, that was about it. After that, um, you know, I told her she had to leave. I he gave me, like, he said you have to be out in, like, three days. Oh, I've I wouldn't, I wouldn't you have given three. you three days. You're lucky you got three days. <laughs> Thank but you. But anyway, so, um, so, so you d had her move out? Correct. Um, and, you know, like, I did a little bit of investigating, and afterwards... Um, I have a question for you. Before you tell me, because I know the witness is here... So you broke up with her, Correct. you gave her three days to leave the Correct. apartment. Did she leave reluctantly or was she like, whatever, I'm oh, leaving? Oh yeah, no, she just picked up and left. It was nothing to her. I thought that maybe if you had a little bit of time to cool off and let this blow over, that it would be, that it would be okay and we can okay. talk about this and work it out. All right, did you ask for the ring back? Yes. And she said no. Correct. Very Your Honor, in the state well. of California, the law states that this is an unconditional gift. Okay. So I'm entitled to the ring. Did you think it was morally appropriate for you to keep that ring? I did. Why? I was heartbroken. Why Your do Honor, you deserve that ring? Because I'm still ready to get married. It was but given to me. He doesn't want to marry you. It was given to me as a gift, and I. It was Accepted given to you gift. as a gift that you were going to be faithful and you were going to honor him for the rest of your life. I'm still ready to, to make I that commitment. I don't think you understand what that commitment is. So then anyway, how many times did you try asking for it back? So many. I reached out to her via email, um, sent her text messages. She wouldn't even say, sorry, I'm keeping it. It's mine. Nothing. I'm going to I, stay to California. I would have wished she would have even said that. I got no response Nothing. at all. She just ignored you. Correct. That really tried, you were really trying to work things out, weren't you? Yes, I wanted him to cool off. How long, how long did you try to get the ring back? Oh, I mean, up until just about now. It was mm -hmm. about three months ago, Your Honor. So no response for three nothing, months? Nothing, nothing, okay. Your Honor. All right, so then you find this uh, friend that you have in common or mutual on your online personal accounts, Correct. and what happened? So I remember his name was Adam Vincent. Mm -hmm. So I went up into a little search thing and found his name. Um, and I remembered his profile picture, so I pulled it up, and I looked at him, and I just said, hey, you know, I'm just a little curious. Like, how do you know Cynthia Bennett? 
And oh, you know, it definitely struck a nerve. You know, I asked him, I said, hey, would you be opposed to going and grabbing a drink? Let's just go down to the bar and grab a drink and talk about this. You know, it's a little bit more personal. And so me and Adam went and we had a drink. Um, and I mean, that was just the last straw. That's when mm -hmm. I decided that. Adam, why don't you court. stand up and tell me? Do you know the witness, Miss Bennett? <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I do. You do. Okay. Hello, Your Honor. You intimately know the witness. Yeah, I can't believe that he's here today. This is. Yeah. I bet you can't. Yes. Okay. Yeah. From right. several so, years ago, I know so, the witness. So, uh, Mr. Vincent, why don't you tell me what you shared with Mr. Vaughn? Um, well, so Cynthia is my former, you know, and fiance. Oh, um, fiance, you were this, engaged. Yeah, to we her? were engaged as well seven years ago. You know, okay. so this is far, far back. We met our mid twenties. Um, great time. She's a great girl. You know, likes to party. She's very spoiled. You know, I, I spent a lot of money on her. Um, we traveled. You know, uh, of course. You know, I eventually, like I said. And get, you know, I proposed to her. Um, she accepted the proposal. Uh, we were getting ready for our marriage. Um, I'm a finance banker, you mm -hmm. know, um, work long hours, long shifts. How do you get these guys? <laughs> um, what is it about you get these two good looking professional guys? Uh, yeah, okay, tell me about go it. ahead. But, um, I'm um, so confused. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm confused too, ma'am. So but, then um, what happened? So, so you um, propose? You know, I come home, um, literally, I kid you not. Um, my baby brother and Miss Cynthia are literally having sex in my bed. And, and like I say, it, it, it threw me wow. off. Wow, you know? were you and drunk? Was it just a mistake? <laughs> Your Honor, I was, this was seven years ago. I was like 22 years old. Oh my old. God, it was, it was a mistake. mistake. I oh apologize, that was, yeah. that was yeah. wrong. It's, it's always a mistake when you, um, when you perform So then what did anything. she say to you? How but, did she um, respond? I mean, once again, like I said, it was, it was such a horrible, you know, just scene. So, you know, I, I leave the house. I probably just reach out to her a couple of weeks like, hey, I just want my ring back, the engagement ring. I spent 10 grand on it. Yes, ma'am, but um, she hit me with this, this California law. I proposed huh. to her in California. She's a California resident. Is that I'm a what California she told you? <laughs> Ma'am, I don't know what to tell you when it comes to Cynthia. Like I said, you know, that's why I'm standing here next to Mr. Vaughn. Coming up on... How many times have you been engaged before? Your Honor, I've been engaged twice. I, twice? I well, love... I mean, twice that we she know tells you, yeah. That we I know mean, that's what she's telling you. I Your mean, Honor, I loved... It's a good I little loved business. Adam very much. It's a I was good too young. little business you have. I was too young to be engaged with Adam. I loved him very much. No, I, can I see the ring? Would you mind, Renard, can you get the ring, please? <laughs> You want me to take it off? Yeah, of course, yes. please. Hey, Bernard, you see how beautiful it is. Well? So this was your grandmother's. My ring. grandfather actually gave that wow. diamond. It's just the to diamond. It's not the setting. This is a beautiful diamond. Thank Jeez. you. Jeez, give it to Mr. Vaughn, please. <laughs> it's his. It's not yours. Your Honor, how is that oh, legally wow. his? Oh, it's legally wow. his because, you know, you're very smart. And I think it's a really great little scam you have going on for yourself here. It's the donor. He gave it to me. He broke up. Therefore, I get to keep it. But in these no-fault states, there's also something called fraud. So it is my opinion, and listen to this, it is my opinion that you on purpose did this so you can keep the ring. So it was your actions, your unfaithfulness that made him break up with you. So therefore, he would have never broken up with you but for the fact that you got drunk and it was no big deal and you made out with the girl and the boy and then that's it, end of story. You should be ashamed of yourself because what you're doing is that you're abusing the law and you are convincing, manipulating. I, I seriously don't know how she connived you, how she, both of you guys are so handsome, such smart professionals. How did you let her completely fool you. Your Honor, we had a, is wonder beyond I had a wonderful me. relationship Sweet, with each I of I don't men. think you wonderful. understand what wonderful is. You don't understand what a relationship is. You don't understand what anything is, okay? So based on the evidence, well, I don't have to do anything. I, I'm giving you your ring back. Thank Therefore, you. I'm not going to uh, you, uh, grant you the money, okay? That's Good fine. luck to you guys. Thank you, ma'am. All rise. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the plaintiff.